Hey, okay, time for that bleach. Time for that bleach. Time for that bleach. It's time for that bleach. Bleach chapter three, 631. Really, I, I enjoy this chapter. Uh, getting to know Bass. Getting to know Jugo, Jugo uh, their relationship and, and how they became friends. Okay, and and also finding out that these uh Bass and Jugram or Jugo are actually Quincy's because Bass B he made you know a crossbow adoration uh, you know and it was like okay that I was like okay that's that's dope okay that's some Quincy shit okay because Kubo. It he made it seem like these dudes ain't really Quincy. It just it seemed like Juha gave these guys powers. He picked these dudes off the fucking street or some never whereville place, and he just gave them powers. It, it didn't feel like these guys are Quincy's. The only person that felt like they were Quincy's was Juha and Uryu and Ryuken. Okay, that's the only people I felt like they were Quincy's. Okay, especially Uryu. Okay, and seeing the chapter, seeing you know. Bass hunt rabbits and using his you know, Quincy abilities and you know Rachel and all, Rachel and all that stuff and what was Juha what was this what was he like like taking over countries what was this at like what time period what world was it was it human world like like what world was this where he was taking over countries and shit and places villages and, like where like what year and what place was this okay and we kind of found out that Bass and Jugo wanted to get close to Juha so they can kill him because Juha came in, destroyed their village, could kill their friends, family, and Babs was like, yo, like I wanna we I wanna kill Juha, okay? And like they swore and I guess promised they train hard to get close and get strong enough to strong enough to defeat and kill Juha for what he did, okay? But it seemed like Jugo was taking it really, really serious. Like he, he, he did he go in too deep? Like he's like deep undercover. Like like he actually like like it, it makes it makes kind of sense because he's like 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 really loyal to J like Juha. Like he's like 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 his right hand man. How the hell did Hashwa get so close to Juha to be his right hand man and Basby to be where he's at? What did like 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 what did Jugo do? Oh my god. I don't know if he's plain or he's like it don't, it don't seem like he's faking, like he seemed like he's really sick, like he is going to kill Bass. Okay. I don't know if he got about the promises they made as kids that they did all this to kill Juha, okay, but it's like oh like Juha is like almighty right now, like he is a new soul king. So you training and getting close to Juha, yeah, that's not gonna work out, okay? Cause Juha can kill you, like he can bop you, okay, really, really bad. But we come to find out how the Stern Raiders came to be because I guess it took over everything, all the countries and villages and stuff. And he was like, next step is Soul Society. We didn't take over that. And he's like, I want to create a new army. I'm gonna call him the Stern Raider. So yeah, he created he's cre he created a new army specifically to take over Soul Society. Okay, and we I, we we find out the origins of what, how the Stern Raiders came to be, their name, I guess, and what their purpose was, I guess, is to take over Soul Society, a new army. Okay, and I wonder what his first army, uh was also I really want to know about Juha and Yamamoto because that conversation between them and how they like back, way back in way back when 2000 years ago okay you know they fall and you know they saw each other it's like I want to I want to see their their first encounter Juha and Yamamoto because there's some shit that needs to be you know revealed from their first encounter and how they met and oh I think that's going to happen I think we about to, cause I, I it just hit me like oh, the invasion of Soul Society. Juha is going to take over Soul Society. I think we're going to get the Yamamoto and Juha first encounter. How they first met. How Juha 
came in Soul Society, I guess the first time to take over Soul Society was his new army, the Sturmators. And I, I think we're going to get to that, you know, maybe. But right for right now, it's about Baz and Jugo. Okay, Drew Grimm. It's about their fight and their relationship and, you know, the flashback. And and it wasn't Hoshwa. It was Baz that saw his village being burned down to the ground by Juha and his army and his people. Uh, but he said Juha and his powers. It, I guess it was just Juha, not, not his army. It was just him. I guess, I guess he didn't, he didn't need his army. I mean, it's Juha, so yeah. But yeah, I you know pretty pretty cool chapter. I it's okay, it's okay, okay chapter. I enjoy the chapter. Uh, yeah. Uh, can we see Baz and uh, Jugram go ahead go heads up? And yeah, because if you look at it, we don't really know jack shit about most of the stirrers until fucking now. Okay, like. Hashra and Basby like are probably the most care develop care, care development characters that we got from the Sturmer side. Like we we know a lot more about them than the rest of them. Okay, they have Glutton Bitch. Okay, the Thunder Bitch. You know, Cat them all of them. Okay, uh, Asnots, all of them. Like we uh, and uh, Wrestler Dude, Hulk Hogan. We know about Basby and Hashra more than the rest like i want to get uh, like it seemed like kubo didn't care about these characters because he killed them off we didn't get their, their letter we didn't get their abilities he killed them. He, he like he didn't show them off he just killed them off the spot and it seemed like kubo don't care N now it seemed like kubo is starting to care about these like about the stormers but it's only two just just hoshwad and bass but we get more into the, their past and their relationship and you know what their purpose is, and just more about them as characters, and more about this fight. He's trying to make the fight deep and mean something. Okay, just not have Bass being hostile, just fight for no fight. For just, you know, just fight, just fight because you betrayed me, all that stuff. He's trying to make the fight deeper than what it is because they go way back. They're friends, best friends, and Bass be taught Hoshwa the Quincy ways, pretty much how to be a strong Quincy and teach him how to hunt, all stuff to be a strong Quincy. Okay, so, you know, we have Basby taught Hoshwap some things. Okay, so, yeah, it's a big deal. So, anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later. I'm out. So, yeah.